Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Please excuse my slightly strange voice, I'm recovering from a cold. Um, today's video is going to be DIY slippers because slippers are comfy and keep your feet warm so why wouldn't you want to DIY them? So if you like this video guys please make sure to subscribe and without further ado I'm going to hop right into it. So you want to start off by grabbing your fabric, I'm using a thin fabric, um, some fleece and some non-slip fabric and grab your template. You can get a slipper template online or just draw around your f the bottom of your feet to create your own template and then create a curved one around the sides which is actually what I ended up doing um, just because I didn't have a printer. So you want to draw around um, your template onto the um, non-stick fabric and the fleece to begin with. This is going to make up the base of your slipper and then you want to cut these shapes out. When I cut them out, I actually ended up cutting about half a centimetre extra around the edge just so that when I sewed, I could sew exactly on the line of the template that I'd made so that I didn't make the slippers too small um, and there was enough excess to hold the stitches. So you then want to do exactly the same for the fleece bits. Before stacking your fleece bits and the non-stick bits together depending on which side is the left foot and the right foot and then sewing these. I did start by sewing these with the sewing machine but my sewing machine was having like a mini fit and wasn't sewing properly. Needless to say it needs a sort out and a service. But so I moved to hand sew, but if your sewing machine works, or if you have a sewing machine, do use that, because it will save so much time. But as I said, mine wasn't working very well, so I instead switched to hand sewing this, and I did a back stitch all the way round, following the lines, so that they were firmly secured together, like so. This is then the U shape that I was talking about earlier that you need to make for the sides of the slippers. And again, you want to grab this template, which you can also find on the internet as well. Um, I actually ended up trimming a little bit off the sides. And you want to, once you've got this the perfect size, you want to grab a pen and draw around this onto the fabric that you want to be on the outside of your slipper as well as the fleece again as well and you need two of each one for each slipper so here i am drawing around the shape and then simply cut them out now to cut out the centre pieces, I actually cut just straight down the middle and then cut some angle bits at the end so that when I, f I could hem it nicely, the middle bit, because that's going to be the edge on show and you want a nice clean folded hem there. Then you can do the same for your fleece bits but I didn't... Um, cut the slit I just cut round because the hem of the outside fabric can fold over the raw edge of the fleece and then you want to hem the um, overhanging bits of the outside fabric as shown here I actually ended up cutting a few more slits just so it was easier to get round the bend and I then used some pins just to pin my hemming in place all the way round the slipper. Mm -hmm. 
then once you've pinned it you just want to go all the way around again sewing it either with your sewing machine or your needle and thread if you're doing it just by hand pay attention to the front side and make sure that your stitches look nice and neat on the front side because it doesn't matter so much on the inside and simply sew all the way around like so So now you've completely hemmed the inner edge, you want to repeat this on the other one and then grab your sole of your slipper and the side and pin this together um, with the outer fabric and the non-slip fabric facing each other. This is so that once you've sewn around the sole to attach them together you can turn it inside out to make a nice finished hidden seam so all you want to do is grab your needle and thread once again or your sewing machine if that's what you're using and do your back stitch all the way around make sure that you make the edge of the sole and the edge of the U shape line up all the way around as this will create the sort of gap and more overly part of the um, slipper to fit your foot in nicely um, so you want to sew I started in the middle at the front of the shoe um, and you want to sew all the way around to the back at the middle once you've got round this far you then want to on the first side that you're doing hem the back edge so just fold it and fold it again to create a nice hem and finish up by sewing up this hem and secure this once you have finished Then you want to go back in with your needle and a new piece of thread starting once again at the top, this time sewing round the other side all the way to the back once again. Then the final step is to sew up the two back seams together making sure that the raw edge one goes on the inside and your nice exposed seam is on the outside simply sew up this line again to create a double um, sewing line as you can see here the what the first one being from the hem that you did on the first side and the second one being you from when you attach the two together then tie this up off super tightly and there you are you want to do this for your other slipper as well and then go back in turning the slipper inside out and trimming any of the excess fabric on the inside just so that it's not so bulky and is a bit more comfy as a slipper then you can go ahead and turn this back round the right way like so and there are your slippers and as a final touch I tied some ribbon into some bows like this and grabbed my hot glue gun and just popped a little dollop of glue on them and stuck these bows down to complement the colour of the fleece inside and there we are Thanks for watching this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I actually am really happy with how they turned out, I think they look really cool. So if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!